Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing The Inner Temple of Magic by Philip Cooper. This is a relatively rare book, and it took me a long time to get my hands on one of these. So I actually obtained the Rare Magician, the first edition, long before I obtained a copy of this book. So this, in my opinion, at least based on my research, is uh, much more difficult to find than the first edition of the magician now there's two editions to the magician and people keep saying well why do you why are you saying that the magician is so expensive you can buy them new for uh, eighty dollars well that's a second edition and i like second editions i own them but i'm really interested in the first editions and this is a first edition of the inner temple of magic i've got a first edition of most of his books so i like i'm a total fan of phillips i collect all of his work and I like the uh, first editions, first and foremost, better than the second editions because of the rarity. So this book has awesome artwork. I love that. It has a great feel to it. It's an easy read. And this particular volume focuses primarily on elemental magic. And Philip walks you through a very basic system of magic that is just it's absolutely easy to grasp it's easy to utilize and it's easy to integrate into your life one of the things I've, i love about philip cooper's work is how easy he makes the subject of magic there's so much mental illness in the magical community there's so much superstition and unnecessarily unnecessary almost obsessive compulsive views towards the subject of magic philip clears the cobwebs and he does it in a very liberating way. You, when you read his books, you, you leave feeling empowered. You leave feel, feeling uplifted. And that's one of the things that I've always loved about his work. And again, you guys, let's look at the uh, table of contents here. We've got magic, its power and purpose, uh, the power of the human mind, God power and the creative source, illusion or reality, the four elements, magical symbolism, magical rituals, Psychic problems and psychic self-defense, the perfection of magic, uh, the relaxation exercise, building your temple, and so on and so, so forth. So, again, some of the stuff that he mentions in this book, he mentions in The Magician. Um, what you'll notice in Philip's work is that most of his books, he there's similarities in all of his books but each of his books provide something new that you didn't get in the other book. So it creates kind of like this mesh or webbing where all of his all of his books really empower one another, and that's a beautiful thing. So if you can find one of these, I highly suggest picking one up. If you can find two or three, pick them up because they're only gonna go up in value. Mine has a little bit of wear on it, and I've uh, really dug through this book. And it's just an incredible, piece of writing in my opinion. So let's read the back. It says, the inner temple of magic invoke the forces and energy of nature to bring about desired change. The keys to magic are already in your possession. All you have to do is find them. This is not as difficult as you may have been led to believe. The magic is yours already. All you have to do is awaken it. Philip will teach you how to do this and how to act in conformance with natural laws in natural ways. You will be given valid teachings from the past and shown the path to the future using ancient methods combined with contemporary awareness. He will help you find latent talents to help you to become aware of your true potential and show you how to understand magic and how to use it in this day and age. So, what I like about Philip's work is it's a cohesive, coherent, directly to the point workable system. And he walks you through that system in a step-by-step -step fashion. And as you move through each tier of his system, you gain more knowledge, which leads to the next tier, and you just become stronger and stronger and stronger, which is a beautiful thing. We all need to harness the power of our minds here in this crazy world where most people don't have power over their own thoughts, their own addictions, their own temptations, and their own vices. Magic can help you escape all that, ladies and gentlemen, and this is a beautiful book. There's some typos in this book, and it's not as polished as The Magician. But in my opinion, it's this is just like Philip at, at his best. Um, the way it's written, the you know some of the stuff that he says in this book you don't find in any of his other books, and it just has a really unique feel to it. 
It is, however, quite rare, and because of that, I considered not even doing a review of this book, but because there's nothing on the web about this practically at all, there's no video reviews about this book, there's really not even that much information on this book on Amazon, you name it, and it always says it's unavailable and out of print. Because of all that, I figured I would show the world what this book looks like and give a little bit of a taste into it. Because, uh, you know, long story short, it's too bad this is out of print. I believe Philip has a second edition book of this. It's not this exact book. It builds off of this book and it's called Results Magic. That one you can still get. That one is nowhere near as rare as this book. But uh, anyways, you guys, I give this a 10 out of 10 for sure. Just buy something from Philip that's available. You know, if all you can get your hands on is his book, uh, Candle Magic, buy it. If all you can get your hands on is, um, you know, whatever it, excuse me, my tongue is tied. Jesus. Just buy his work and, and, and read it. His stuff that is not rare is just as good as his stuff that is rare, and you can utilize it to your benefit. And I believe that now a lot of these books are going on to uh, e-format, which I like and I don't like at the same time. I like when things are rare, and I like when you have to dig and search to find these old books. It just makes it so special when you finally get your hands on them. But the information's out there if you want it, folks. You just have to do your magic and dig for it. The Inner Temple of Magic by Philip Cooper, a 10 out of 10, hands down.